Well, after the violence at the Capitol, parents and teachers are talking to their kids about what peaceful protests should look like in our country. Two News reporter Kiana Deitches shows us how a Springfield March for Peace is what's working in the Miami Valley. Teachers here at Fulton Elementary are having big conversations with students about politics and injustice. They observe the upcoming Martin Luther King Jr. holiday with a peaceful protest. There's a lesson to be learned from the chaos at the Capitol. At Fulton Elementary, there are several. Because we have such a diverse population in our building, we have um, African American, Caucasian, Haitian Creole, Hispanic. We have a very diverse student population and so I want our kids to learn how to live together, work together, learn together, advocate together, have differences but be able to solve them in a peaceful way. With signs of love and peace, Principal Deborah Howard says the students learned how to advocate for change without disorder. If we don't train them on how to organize, how to march, if they have a cause that they want to be active in, um, that this is teaching them. This is teaching them the right way to do it, how to gather folks together, how to organize. She says they also learned the value of peace, a favorite concept of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I actually was employed by Southern Christian Leadership Conference many years ago, um, had the opportunity to sit at the feet of Coretta Scott and Martin III, um, and really was able to um, digest um, a lot of experiences that they had. The march was held by the school's sixth graders who are trying to make sense of recent events. And they said, we just want peace. We just want to be safe, we want to feel safe in the world, we want to feel safe in our schools because we have to have lockdown drills and things like that. They just want to feel safe um, and they just want peace. In Springfield, Kiana Deitches, 5 on 2.